Hey YouTube, Propeller Mario Brothers 2012 here. And well, this is gonna be like more of a tutorial video today. So this video is about like, about like we wear. So um, anyways, but here's what I'm gonna say. So have you just got a Wii, but you wanna play WiiWare games on it? Well, unfortunately, as of January 30th, 2019, this is no longer available. So how else are you gonna play these games? Like all these WiiWare and virtual console games? Well, you can't without homebrew. Because the only way to play WiiWare games now is to be like a nasty pirate and well, yeah. And just down the games off the internet. So, yeah, but um, I'm going to show you how to like get WiiWare ROMs and Virtual Console WADs onto your Wii. But, well, before I do that, you're going to need some stuff. First off is that you're going to need a homebrewed Wii. If you have a Wii, but it's not homebrewed, then, well, go homebrew it. But I'm not going to show you how to homebrew it because... There are already a lot of guides on how to homebrew your Wii out there. So, yeah. And also, you're going to need an SD card or a USB drive that's formatted to FAT32. But for the wads, I cannot tell you where to get them. Because if I do, then the Nintendo Ninjas will literally kill me. And <laughs> we don't need that. So, you're on your own with that one. So... I'll meet you onto the computer when I'm done downing ROMs. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm back, and I got my wads that I downloaded. Oh shit! Um, let me just um make it. Let me just go under here. Also, if you're wondering if if this is an actual Windows Seven, it's not. It's just a custom theme I got for Windows 11 so that's how you that's how you need to know but back to this go to your downloads folder I these are the wads I got so you want to make sure you get a like I like, can um, copy them I like, gotta hit control I like, hit control and then click I can control click them. Uh, yeah, those are the ones I downloaded. And there's another one. And then... And then you gotta... Put these into the WADS folder. On your SD card. And this is in a zip file. So make sure you put that into an SD card as well. It's onto the watch folder. And you know it's in there. If it has that. But just but all I do is double check if it's if I if it's actually got into my SD card. So let's say for example oh, I'm gonna check Super Mario Kart if it see if it's in there. And hmm let me see even though oh yep it's there it's there and now check for Kirby's Adventure found it right there I think oh I did and now for F zero that one also that was in that's F zero sixty four if you want to know but well yeah so I guess we're done here so. What you want to do, right click on your SD card, or whatever you named it. Mine's is Wii SD card. And you gotta um, right click it, then hit eject. And then I'll meet you guys back onto the Wii. All right, so back onto the Wii. What you want to do is head over to the Homebrew channel. And then, now, before I do this, um, just know that 
I'm not responsible for anything that if anything goes wrong while you download a, a wad onto your Wii. So now back to the guide. What you want to do is to go on to yet another wad manager. You can also go on to Wii Mod Lite, but I'm going to use yet another wad manager for this um, video today. So now, but before I do this, make sure you have your NAND backed up and make sure that you like um have boot me and preloader installed in your Wii. If you don't, then well, go do that. But well, what you need to do is select Wii SD slot on your Wii remote right here. Stay strong and carry on, please. And then lastly, now you can download the wads you want to download, so I remembered which ones I want to download. That's F Zero, but just you just gotta wait. And you see that the Wii's disk drive will like flash blue, so just it says um yeah. So it says please wait. Okay, that's what it says. Just gotta wait for that. And then you finish installing. And once that happens, um your Wii's um. Um, flash your Wii's um, dish drive will not be blue anymore. So now I'm gonna go like download some more just to give you uh, a better example. I'm gonna download um, Kirby's Adventure onto my Wii, and my Wii's um, dish drive is blue again. Excuse me. But... And lastly, Super Mario Kart. I just it's it's some here, it's all right. And then, well, I think I oh fuck I, I excuse language, but um, and then you gotta make sure it's a correct wad you want to download. Then hit install wad. And then you just gotta wait. The dish drive is blue. And then, now we're done. We gotta, so hit the home button to go back to the homebrew channel or the homebrew menu. But, um, and hit your um, home button again and hit exit to system menu. And then, see if it worked. And well, time now. And then there you go. But now, for the sake of your Wii's um eternal space, make sure I'm I'm gonna show you how to like like put this onto your SD card. So if you don't know how to do that, go to data management channels. And yeah. You want to make sure you have like as much space in here as possible. I don't have much, but that's an easy fix. So go on to um, the game you want to move to SD card and just hit move like that. But like I but um, but just know that the larger the size of the game, the longer it's gonna take to to like move to the SD card. So. Yeah, keep that in mind. So I guess we're done here. So, well, I guess we're done. So, goodbye, guys. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next video.